everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. No. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think I did my intro this morning, but here it is. So right now I'm at a forest, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's start from the beginning. So have you made onigiri before? Have I made onigiri before? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So, choto mm -hmm. Yeah. Choto My hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Choto mm -hmm. chiri. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Nice size. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> have a, have a, have a. Oh, it's okay. Yay. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is one thing I know. I am a yeah, really right? <laughs> it's, a grave. it's a big grave. Oh, chicken! Hi, chicken. Good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. Can you see? It's fucking cold, you guys. It's really, really cold right now. There's Mariana. Say good morning, Mariana. Ohayou gozaimasu. Morning. I did my best and knew just how to play my part. So we just finished a farming scene where we got to pick a lettuce. What else did we get? Hakusai. Hakusai. And um, what else? The cabbages. We didn't pick the cabbages, but the cabbages look like giant roses. They were so beautiful. It's a smaller farm, but the vegetables here are just humongous. The hakusai I picked up was like a baby. I kept calling it Akachan. I was like, oh, this is my baby. It was really, really big. Like this big. It was all awesome. Uh, my hands are definitely freezing though. Mariana's very excited about this experience. Oh, we also cut wasabi. That was awesome. Um, yeah, very cool. They grow cabbages, haksai, wasabi, different types of lettu lettuces, and chili. So I'm not sure if they grow anything else, but it's just really awesome to experience a farm on Japan. I've never done that before. Really good experience, but now we're wrapping up at the farm. Uh, they're getting some shots of the sunrise. Well, they were. Oh, there they are. And then we're going to be on our way to the next location, which is a surprise because I forgot. Okay, so they said we can actually try the wasabi that we just picked, so I'm going to try it right now. Oh, I can taste the wasabi. That's really cool. But it's not too spicy. They said it might have been a spicy, but actually, I think it was okay. Ah, that was interesting. Home tour. There's so many bedrooms in this house, and they all have like really beautiful natural light coming into it they have these pine what are these called bearings on the rooftop these beautiful lanterns beautiful views it looks like it, an attic huh but surprisingly i'm like Good for them for not keeping a lot of junk in a big home because it's really easy to carry a lot of junk in a big home. Okay, time to say goodbye to the farmhouse. Goodbye room. You were cold but beautiful. Okay, so that looks cute. 
I'm going to try this drink that we got at Lawson and this is from Kyushu from Miyazaki I was trying to find like an Oita special specialty limited edition type of drink thing in the community but I couldn't find it so the closest thing I could find was this from Miyazaki Kyushu area and apparently it's budo which means grape yogurt drink so I'm going to try it and it says 1% something 1% Oh, it's 1% grape. So basically it's all grape artificial flavor, but let's try it. Oh, something Yuji taught me is that you're not supposed to pull the straw. You're supposed to push it down like this. So the plastic stays on the box. Okay, right now, this is how my camera is. <laughs> I'm gonna drink like this because there's no other way. So we just arrived to the Ume shoe place and I'm gonna go do my greetings, introduce myself. So we're gonna do Ume shoe tasting. Oh, that sun was in my eye, sorry. We're gonna do some Ume shoe tasting and it's only 10 in the morning. It's an ohayou gozaimasu kanpai. <laughs> Lately I've come to realize that I can see it in your eyes. So oh, it's true, I'm so glad you feel it too. So right now we are at the Umeshu Winery. Umeshu Ari. I don't know what to call it. Umeshu Winery. We had some sample Umeshus and we were there quite quickly actually. We didn't spend a lot of time there. We tried some Umeshus. They were unbelievably delicious. I've never had anything like that in my entire life. Very good. Top quality. I got a bottle for Yuji and a bottle for my Japanese teacher to thank her. And also yeah, we got a little bit tipsy because it was so good. Now we're just looking at the ume trees, which means plum, by the way. Are we almost there? That was one hour. Hmm? <laughs> I took a power nap. We're about 25 minutes away for shiitake. We're gonna go eat some shiitake, right? We're gonna eat shiitake in the shiitake farm, right? Yeah. We are literally in the woods right now. Oh, how cool! I... Oh my God, the mushrooms! So the mushrooms grow on the trees, you guys. And we're gonna be picking some from the trees. Oh my God, this is so cool. Well, mushroom, well, mushrooms are fungi, right? So that's why they're growing on trees. It's just so cool that they're growing on the like it's their tree trunks, right? Yeah, tree trunks, like cut, cut down tree trunks. Wow. So they're feeding off the trees. I picked these mushrooms. Not all of them, Mariana helped. I was grabbing so many of them though. Look how beautiful. So I just had a big, big meal filled with shiitake mushrooms. What is the other one called? It was a soup called dangoji. Oh, that was so good. The noodles are really good. They're like rice noodles. Sorry, that was a burp. <laughs> um, I ate so much. The family that works here, they made a big meal for us. So I, I wanted to eat a lot because everything looked really good. And also I don't want to be rude because like they worked really hard and they were really looking forward to seeing us so I definitely ate more than I can handle I think right now but I am so grateful so fulfilled 
Um, like if you're in Japan visiting and you're visiting for long enough, I would definitely recommend coming to the countryside, somewhere in the countryside, anywhere. Oita is beautiful though, so I can vouch for Oita being a worthwhile trip. Like you touch a tree, you just, I don't know, am I weird? I feel energy. Like if you're like walking in a forest, anywhere in the countryside, anywhere in the world, just touch a tree. <laughs> I'm gonna make a, a t-shirt that says, just touch a tree. So I'm gonna have to wrap up this vlog in a little bit and just enjoy some of the scenery before we head off to the airport. The trip is finished, over. Oh. All right, so we're at a cafe now in the airport and we're about to come by to our successful trip. Come by. Okay, so we're just the cafe. We're gonna enjoy our drinks. It's the end of our trip. We had an amazing trip. So thankful to all the crew, to the client, to Mariana for coming and I just like hope to do more things like this in the future and I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen so far on my channel and for the past few days and for Vlogmas I hope I can you know show you guys more stuff around Japan more cool stuff more trendy stuff more hidden spots more everything so if you're interested in that make sure to give this vlog a thumbs up and subscribe and until then I will see you tomorrow Good night! Oh, yes, I'm gonna say, 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 I'm gon